Go behind the bars of Wedworth season three. Brought to you by Holden. The first episode of this um, series basically explores the power shift that's happened in between the last um, episode of series two and the first episode of series three. Specifically looking at the changing paradigm between Frankie, Ferguson and B. I think after being sentenced to life, B has to find something new to drive her forward. I think she's well aware that the women are looking towards her for guidance and leadership and, and perhaps B's understanding is that it's not as easy as what she thought it was so she does have to flex certain muscles and, and she challenges Ferguson for um, prisoner rights and so forth. Uh, it's not as easy as what she thought it was. Basically the right for me wasn't about um, prisoners specifically trying to set up claims up but moreover it was about um, B showing that she could control the prisoners from inside isolation and particularly it was a point being made to Ferguson about who runs the jail. What was lovely, one of the things is that it actually gave Maxine a chance to shine as well. You know, so we saw her in a different role where she actually leads from the front in, in the absence of B. Vera uh, becomes the collateral damage in that, in that situation. So she is taken hostage, she's the, while everyone is out, you know, burning things in the yard, she is in the middle of the prison, kind of tying up loose ends as she does. She's taken hostage, bag over her head so she can't identify who it is that uh, takes her hostage and ends up in the isolation cell area being, you know, bargain, you know, the bargaining chip in this, in this event. I finally get my hands on Liz at the beginning of season three and because um, she lagged and as a result of her lagging I got seven years, they weren't even my drugs, they were Frankie's drugs, just saying, but um, I got seven years um, put on my sentence because um, she told on me. So it's kind of code, it's prison code, you don't lag, it's rule number one and, um, and so she has to pay. I think that it's B's utopic vision that the prison will change, but I'm not sure if that's going to be the case. <laughs> I think that she definitely wants the best for the women and she's trying to implement programs and, and situations that would, that would perhaps change, change the system and, and make the women here more comfortable and, and, and for them to be heard and understood more, whether or not that happens, it's to be seen.